What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite mini oddball fish that I would put in a 10 gallon aquarium. If this is your first time here, my name is Brian and I make all kinds of freshwater fish keeping videos. In this channel, I cover things like DIY projects related to the aquarium hobby, along with giving you guys updates on all of my fish. So if you like what you're checking out, stay tuned and hit that subscribe button and I appreciate your support. If you've been following my channel recently, you'll know that I have a slight fascination when it comes to keeping prehistoric fish, especially the polypterus. So because I like bikers, I should have a natural interest in keeping gars as well. But unfortunately, where I'm from, I can't have any kind of real gar, like the alligator, the Florida, platinum, long nose, Cuban, I can't have any of those. We have to rely on a specific group of fish that's notably called false gars, like the needlefish, the marble gar, the striped pike kerosens, Things like that. Back then when I had my 10 gallon aquarium, I had my interest in gars as well. Uh, you obviously can't keep any kind of gar or false gar in a 10 gallon aquarium because you're pretty much asking for trouble. Uh, these fish are going to grow pretty quickly and they're going to outgrow this tank and most of the time they're just going to jump out of your aquarium if it's too small. So just brainstorming on what kind of fish I can keep that's kind of like a gar in my smaller aquariums. I looked into this fish right here. So what you're looking at here is a platinum half beak, or it's also known as a metallic half beak. Uh, these fish only get to about two and a half inches. This fish comes from naturally slow flowing waters, so try to steer away from huge power heads or huge hang on back filters. I would go with like sponge filters or something because they're going to be hanging out at the surface of your aquarium. If you have a power head, they're pretty much going to get blown around everywhere. And these fish are kind of small, so um, just be wary of that. So back then when I kept this fish, I had two of them in a 10 gallon aquarium and it had no lid. That was definitely my mistake. If you want to keep this fish right here, definitely, definitely add a lid onto your tank because they're going to jump out. They spend so much time at the surface of the aquarium that if anything ever shocks them or if you're running past the aquarium and your footsteps are really heavy, that will spook them and they will literally jump out of your tank and just die on the floor. Or if you have two of these fish, uh, they sometimes do spar and one can knock the other one out of the tank. So just, if you have this fish, just put a lid on it. Keep this fish in the tank because they are jumpers. The perfect temperature for this fish is around 75 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, pH is around 6.5 to 8 and hardness from 10 to 20. Like I said, this fish stays at the surface of the aquarium. So if you can feed it floating foods and don't feed it any kind of sinking foods, feed it foods that will fit into its mouth like blood worms, it can be frozen or dried, uh, small pellet foods like the New Life Spectrums and maybe crushed up pellets or whatnot. What I do for my fish is I get New Life Spectrum pellets. I have two pieces of wood, put them together and I pretty much pulverize it and turn it into powder and the excess food will fall to the floor where the shrimps and the snails will pretty much clean that up. When I first got this fish, I thought it was gonna be extremely picky, but mine in particular eats pellet foods, surprisingly. I would throw a new life spectrum pellet in there, it would take it and pretty much hold it until it softens up and then swallow the pellet. When I initially brought this fish home, I thought I was gonna have to feed it blood worms, but the good thing is this fish isn't picky at all and it took pellets like nothing. No training needed, no starving needed, did, I went ahead and threw in the pellet and it automatically went for it. This half beak will do great in your aquarium, especially if you have floating plants. I noticed this fish likes to hide in my frog's bed. Every time I come up to the tank, it comes up to me looking for food. It's not scared, it doesn't bolt away, and all it wants to do is get fed. So if you have a smaller tank, I definitely encourage you to try this fish out. I've had this fish before in the past, nothing but good experiences with them, and then I'm glad that I got another one today for my 10 gallon aquarium. I want to start filling up this tank with more oddball type fish, maybe other fish that closely resemble the monster fish that you can't keep in 10 gallon aquariums. If you have any ideas for a mini oddball fish that I can add to this aquarium, drop it into the comments below and hopefully it'll be a fish that I can experience in the future. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, stay tuned for the next one, and peace guys. <laughs>